everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Dad. How are you? Let's go. King Sam, you know you guys can order this shirt on my store? Like, this is the best sweater I own. Everywhere I wear this sweater, people are like, oh, I love your sweater. I'm like, I know, right? That's my cat. It's actually my cat. King Sam, forever. He, we got this new chair, bought it used from the guy I bought the piano off of, and he's like, this chair. I'm like, I want this chair. It's like a high wing backed. I don't know, I love it. I just, it's just a beautiful chair, but it's, it's now Sam's chair. And so he is the king. And so here you go. Anyway, today we're talking about our life. It has been a long time since we updated you in our life. She did a video recently where she wants to pivot away from what she's been doing. Talk a little bit about it and about what went down with the cheating scandal and all that stuff and why I didn't talk about it. It's pretty interesting. So let's go. So our life, one of the earliest family vloggers I covered, uh, I don't like them. I make fun of Daniel. I call them Daniel Roasts. This is where the vanilla roasts came from, where you just make fun of somebody for doing something normal. Basically stuff that I do too. But it was funny. It ended up being good. But over the years that we've been covering them, they just never got better. They, their channel kind of flopped and flipped and they do everything they can to, to continue to stay on YouTube and all this kind of stuff. And then it came out that they had to sell their house because they can't afford to live in something so lavish because their channel was it's just falling apart, basically. Like if we head over to their social blade, 1.3 million subscribers. It's like they were pretty big at their, at their height. They were making great money when they were pretty big. Um, they don't grow, not really. They lost 10,000 subscribers here, so they really are really not making big bucks anymore. Their monthly statistics are about a million. I mean, they're not, they're making still decent cash, more than like a lot of people make, but not for the lifestyle that they lead. Okay, so she definitely um, came out super Republican, <laughs> uh, Trump supporters and all that stuff, so that really, they lost a lot of supporters that way. They also, um, you know, she, she just likes to be a villain and Daniel doesn't. Um, they adopted a kid like Micah. They were friends with Micah Stauffer. That's kind of how I got to see them way back in the day. Just, I don't know, go watch any video I've done in our life, okay? They're just the worst. Um, but recently, if we go to their channel, and so recently on their channel, I think it's... I wrecked his Tesla. Like, they're trying to get... They don't get many views anymore. Uh, their daughter's basically being them. He thinks this will save her marriage. So anyway, long story short, Daniel apparently allegedly cheated on Kendall. And she came out with it and she was like in a docs, the person that did it. She was super upset. It was a pretty big deal. And as much as I don't like them, I also, I didn't want to pile on, right? She came out hurting. Daniel wasn't doing any videos about it. And people were like, you're going to cover this? You're going to cover this? And I'm like, no, because she's kind of, like, Kendall's a biatch. Don't get me wrong. She is like, if the word biatch was a person, it's Kendall. Okay, she doesn't care about the exploitation of children. She only really cares about her channel. Like, they're gross, okay? They try so many things that have failed. I guess this was like, how many years ago? That's four months ago. So four months ago, the cheating. The truth about how Daniel and I are doing after the affair. She moved out. The phone call, house tour. Like, she, she clickbaited it. So for somebody who's really, really heartbroken about this, I actually saw that she was heartbroken about it. But at the same time, now I'm looking back and she just updated and made views and views and views. Because the one of the biggest videos recently was the 232,000 view life update. What's going on? That's the one where she talks about how Daniel cheated on her. Apparently cheated on with her local woman and all this kind of stuff. And to this day, a lot of people think it might be fake for money. I didn't get that opinion. I didn't, I didn't get that impression. And I reached out to her myself on one of my old accounts that she blocked me, that she didn't block me. And I just said, look, just so you're aware, I'm not covering this. I'm not going to double down. If this guy cheated on you, he's an asshole. Um, what a dickhead for doing this. And you know, I'm not going to cover you. And she said, thanks. That was it that we left it there. I'm not going to like, I'm not a monster. A lot of people think I'm a monster. Um, and some people are like, well, you cover Kira. Well, Kira's the one who cheated. And so like, why didn't you cover Daniel? Daniel didn't come out with any content and try to like pivot off it and say, I'm good at this, right? Daniel's the asshole here. If Daniel cheated and it looks like he did, he's the complete and utter dickhole, right? He's the guy in the wrong here. I thought it'd be the death of their channel anyway. So well, good. That's what I'm thinking. You know, death of their channel. But she like monetized the shit out of it. Why you don't see Daniel anymore? Like our first night without Daniel, Daniel then so he then Daniel comes on and he speaks about it. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it. Now knowing what we know. So I guess though, she let him back in the house and she's like, let's try to make this work. And she wants her family to work. And she kept talking about the video all the time. She kept talking about the affair over nonstop. And uh, then it pivoted to like just getting back to normal. So whatever you think of this. 
Whatever you think of someone cheating and taking them back, it is what it is. Kendall decided that she, this wasn't going to be what ruined their marriage and broke them up. But all it really did to, told me was that they really probably didn't have a marriage anyway to begin with. Like, this turned into a business opportunity later. And he did the cheating and has now made amends. And she's like, okay, let's get back together. Now, whatever you think of this, keeping your family together amongst cheating... It is your prerogative. If you think that's going to be better for your family, then go ahead and do it. I mean, if you're a Christian like they claim to be, that's actually grounds to like peace out. You know, there's no sin there, right? Now he has to get a job. They were going to do a donut thing and they never went. So it all turned out everything they do is kind of a failure. So now a lot of people did think that this was faked for views. And that other woman hasn't come forward. She did threaten it. It's, it sounded super legit to me. And so I just let Kendall, I don't know it because I didn't watch it because I don't watch these people. I don't watch their videos. A lot of people seem to think I'm like obsessed with these families and I watch them. I literally blind react to their videos, which we're going to do today. So that's the catch up and mustard. That's what we caught up now, right? I didn't cover it because I felt like she was heartbroken and like, who the F, who does that, right? So I don't know, weakness, I guess, or humanity. You, so anyway, she released this video just recently, pack with me and someone said, you got to watch it. And I said, okay, well, let's watch it because apparently she's trying to figure out how to pivot and hopefully it's for the better because damn and if daniel shows up you know we're gonna do a daniel roast right it's more of a serious video but let's roast all right guys good morning don't laugh at me don't laugh at me <laughs> it's funny shut up and you know about this headband because unless you've been living under a rock i then i must live under a rock because is it like a my little pony thing what is that is it like the new fashion trend what is it i live under a rock damn rocks this thing was like crazy on TikTok for the long, well, probably Instagram too. What is it? And I finally got one and I get the hype. It is literally the most comfortable headband to wear for, I, I actually want to wear it out, but in public, but I won't do that. I don't do that. Um, but it's like, doesn't like hurt, but I use it when what? I'm doing my makeup. And oh, it's for makeup. Like you can rub stuff on it. It's like a paper towel. All that keeps my hair in my way, out of my way. And All right. Okay. Welcome. Thank you for being here. So I had a couple people message me about how glowy my skin is. I don't know if you can see. I think you, it's couple, translating on. I've had a couple people message me with the glowing of my skin. It looks oily. So is it glowing because it's oily? Is oily a thing? We don't like shiny clowns around here. How glowy my skin is. and so It's not glowy, it's oily. Oh, I've recently gotten into Korean skincare just from TikTok made me do it. Stop. Stop it. And it's not expensive, and it's actually doing something to my skin, which is crazy. It's making it oily, so it's not working. And I'm, y'all know, I am not young by any means. You are not. I'm due for Botox. I'm going next week to actually fix some of this, but... Fix it? Fix what? It's not, you don't need fixing, people. And when you're an influencer, stop saying things like, you need to fix this. Why? And by the way, I forgot to tell you the update. They let their 15-year-old daughter get a nose job. 15-year-old. And the normal nose, not like they didn't have like, you know, snuffleupagus or going, anything going on there. Just a normal little head, a little too much of a bump they didn't like. 15 year old. Imagine your 15 year old comes and says, I want to change my nose. And you're like, yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. What you're doing is affirming their body dysmorphia. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. Just check and make sure we're doing that. Making sure we're telling our daughters they are amazing, incredible how they are. And just beautiful because no jobs are expensive. Also, I mean, I can understand if you've got something insane going on. Like, I totally get that, right? But I'm talking like if you have a normal looking child like they do, there was absolutely no reason to let a 15 year old get a nose job. None. Unbelievable. And they can't afford it. Okay, are you guys ready to see the main product that I think, well, that I know is causing this glow? So she's like, pack with me. And where's the packing? She always does this. She talks about 40 minutes about nothing else. Looks like a snail. Did a road trip. Right, is this the viral brand? That's what I've been using. So if you've been noticing the glow, Does that sure say trophy wife. <laughs> it's from that. It really is from that. And I really, it has no. I did notice the snail trail. Oh, it doesn't feel gross. It, my makeup goes on fine, but like you really can see that. That's and I have like. I, have I mean, we were talking about it. it's not glowing. Like foundation on, but the the glow is there before the foundation, and it stays there, which is just crazy. I mean, if you're interested in all the other products, just let me know. Why is your middle nail weird? Maybe I can do a little like what I put on my face. I am no like beauty guru, skincare. Like I don't, I'm not. That's true. Like I don't know all the things. I learn everything from TikTok. So there you oh, that's great. 
go. All right, I'm gonna busy day. I gotta pack. We have, we're going on our trip tomorrow, me and Daniel. And Daniel and I. And I have a lot to do and I have to head to the mall again. I'll take you with me, but yeah. Alright guys, I am in the car. Why should always wear the dumbest sunglasses? <laughs> Lady Gaga glasses. Just took a bite of an apple. I'm heading out to run to the mall to find Daniel a shirt for our trip. He wants a white, a white... Where are they going? I don't watch their videos enough. I'm like, where are you going? What trip is this? Where are they going? I suppose if I followed them on Instagram and stuff, they'd probably tell me, but I don't do that, so... Oh, anniversary trip. Okay. Alright. I have the chocolate covered bananas. Oh, okay, so come on. It's so weird to me. Oh, they did move. So this is the other house. They moved into a smaller house because their house was like way too expensive for them. They they must have been in debt over their head. And he clearly has a job because he's wearing a lanyard. So he's doing something, probably making good money doing it because they bought a really expensive car. Here's the white spot. First, come look at what I got you, okay? I could never be with a person that cheated on me. I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. I couldn't get back to normal. I'm just thinking in my head, like those of you out there have had this happen to you, like when you went back, has it, e could it ever go back to the way it was? Could it ever? Like I just, I couldn't, I could, it would be in my head forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not the mom. Way too big for him. No, she, they're the, they're the not the mom version. Okay. Too baggy. Too long. Well, do you want Daisy Dukes? Yeah, <laughs> those are way too long. He's a 32 now, he's a 28. <laughs> Oh, they're way too big. I love those. Those are decent. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm a 32. What? Like, well, it's the ugly guy. We're about to find out. What, too big or too small? Then you have- big, Yeah, you're they're way too big, a-hole. They look big. You're gonna- You're gonna look like a friggin- You're gonna look like Trump golfing. That's <laughs> so weird. Don't. I have to go. Oh, I can't even tell the color. Yeah. Okay, tell me. Ooh, I like this one too. You like it? I like them both. Okay. It's like nothing's changed. So those people who think this was fake, I don't know if it's been debunked or not, but like, they're just back to it. Back to it. Go up. Just see, like, obviously this doesn't go. No, 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 it's, I, I, yep, yeah, right. Yeah. It goes, you're a dad, everything goes. You wear whatever the hell you want. Nobody cares what dads wear. Right. Nah. Although you do, when you do clean up nice, people are like, woo-hoo, look at you. Right. Huh? And I did take your advice, everybody. Everybody said short cropped beards, short hair, and so I did the fade. Mm. My wife didn't even say nice haircut or anything. Got home, she's like, didn't even notice. I was like, notice anything about me? <laughs> she's like, yeah, you're wearing dirty pants. Damn it. It's the hair. Right, uh, right, 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 right. Stop chewing and eating. Take off. Er, chewing and talking. You should chew and eat. You should definitely chew and eat. Come on, oh, why did I hear just hear O's? I wonder ah. like, I like now when I go see their new house and what are they, how, what happened? Did they downsize? What's going on? Did one of the kids move out, I think, or something? Wait, what? No. No. When you're on vacation? No. No? <laughs> hey, you're standing, I can't see anything. You're, you gotta go. <laughs> no. Kind of like a rock, man. Like, no, no. I have to say, I'm literally not sh used to The these shorts sh aren't bad. The shorts aren't that bad. Shirts, like, it's, it's him. This is the guy who's wearing the same shit for the last 20 years. Shirts on you? And it kind of makes you look really old. He is old. Um, the, Maybe you are supposed No, I like the shorts. I love the shorts. I think, you know, it's okay. not, you know, that, that would be, like, normal. Okay. Like, he, he, yeah. he, on the island. He, he, on the island. He, he, on the keys. Okay. Do you think these... Man, I'd like to know what really happened. I really would. It's because it's like nothing happened. A little long. And you know what surprised me the most about that is that Kendall strikes me as the type of person that if she is wronged, like she will move hell and high water to pay you back. Like it's like if she's wrong, she's not going to be in, you know, not going to stay married to you at very bare minimum. Like she would then throw you under the bus on Instagram and TikTok and everything else, which I think she sort of did, and the girl. And as far as I'm aware from the whole story, as I was following it from the initial onset of it all, she was blaming the girl more than she was blaming him. Like, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. Like, it takes two to tango. Daniel over here, he's got a little wanker in there doing a little dance. He's got a, some blame of that. So that's what I saw. Um, I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, she strikes me as the type of person that if you crossed her in that way, like... Don't eat food she hands you. Don't walk down long flights of stairs near her. Like that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like don't, 
just she strikes me as the type of person that you don't mess with because she will again payback is like a bitch and she wants it i'm used to like shorts we know come on baby i could see your balls dude <laughs> keep them daisies look at them guys i'm daisy okay nope that's on daisy dukes i'm playing it oh my god yeah it's funny do you know what daisy dukes are okay yeah, that's sad but Hey, where's the fast forward in this next? Yeah. Oh, but I, I like both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like this better. And I think even I know I keep stopping it, but I think even the kids were throwing the dad under the bus at this point. Like that's why I thought it was real because even like the oldest daughter, I think she's eighteen, she was saying shit online. So I think it was legit, and there's no way it's normal anymore. I mean, he, this guy who loves, you can tell these parents love their kids, okay, and he specifically loves his family, but clearly not enough to keep it in his pants. But like, I think he might have absolutely ruined his relationship with his older daughter, for sure, like at minimum. Blue? Y'all vote, yeah, like vote for, you like that one? Yeah. Like but we're going to dinner for two nights, like two different nights. Oh, sorry, two nights. That's true, right? Um, That's true. Two nights of... Um, the blue actually look good with these shorts. Oh too. my um, god, F off. Like, Daniel, okay, it's time. This guy totally will never clean a toilet, right? He'll, like, try to pee the poop stain off, but he won't clean it. Like, he totally thinks he could do DIY projects, but messes them up completely. Packs his own suitcases. Packs everybody's suitcases, actually. He definitely does not like trees. His new favorite show, Real Housewives of New York or something, was voted most vanilla in his high school yearbook. Favorite video game? My Little Pony. It is a game. My kid has it. Wears knee high socks. Favorite football team? Buffalo Bills. Come on now. Actually likes his own BO. When he farts, he goes, <laughs> That was you. And the kids are like, No, it wasn't that. Favorite board game? Checkers. Tried hummus once. Too spicy. His whole body cracks when he stands up. Like, <laughs> wants to grow a beard, but his wife won't let him. Got a new job, not because he needed money, because he didn't want to be home anymore. <laughs> Secretly wears thongs when he works out he works on only his butt gets excited to watch golf on tv stole 20 dollars out of his wife's purse reads graffiti that says this person reading this is an idiot and goes damn it is a passenger princess is really good at unicycling keeps his butter in the fridge they didn't redirect their mail and all the people at the old house keep getting all their mail like whenever he's in the kitchen everybody's always in his way hates to hear people breathe walks at a normal pace anywhere has a deep fear of cling wrap. Talks on a speakerphone while he's like out in public. Oh, no, 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 no one wants to hear a conversation. Speaks very confidently about things he has no idea about. Just coughs all the time. No reason, doesn't have a cold, just cough. <laughs> Always has an ambiguous response to everything. Just say what you mean. Loves family reunions. Psychopath. When he takes off his bra at the end of the day, he's like, oh man, <laughs> I needed that. Scrapes the inside of his yogurt things like or a bowl with ice cream. Ding, 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 ding. Just lick it. My wife does that. Oh man. He actually falls through with tentative plans with people. Is not in the group chat he thinks he's in. When someone else parks in front of his house, he's like, who the F is this guy? Doesn't know the difference between your, your, and your. Says things like, how was work? To his wife, who doesn't work. He calls people instead of texting. <laughs> like when he's using toilet paper, he unrolls a lot, but only pulls off at the bottom. So he leaves a giant like hanging. Like, why would you do that? Is like the overly chipper one at like the office. Hey everybody, happy Monday. And they all want to stab him with a stapler. He gets unnecessarily angry at people who get hiccups. His favorite topping on pizza, extra cheese. Lame-o. Anyway, let's get back to this. Like I, I buy, I'm the one who buys Poppy his shirts. Like I, he's stressed. Is his name Poppy now? Good for a grandpa. But I don't want my husband to look like a grandpa. Right. Too late. Like, I think Poppy has great... It's look like he's engaged in this conversation, like he wants a beer. <laughs> Let's go! I think he just, like, also doesn't want to ruin his family and probably did that to sabotage it. And then it didn't get sabotaged. And I was like, damn it! <laughs> he probably wanted to sabotage it. Style. But... Also but maybe this is his punishment to stay with her. Uh -oh. Burn. I'm getting like a plain white. They didn't have that. That was a thing. No, I like it. But yeah, I'm, I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. If off. Nice. Um, oh, their house is way smaller. That mansion they lived in before, they had like 18 foot ceilings in that shit. It's time to kind of begin the packing. I mean, it's a nice place, but now they're living within their means. Congrats. Life lessons.
So I was gonna do a little pack with me. Here we go. See, halfway through the video. I'm gonna switch over laundry, really. So I'm gonna switch. No one laundry. cares what you're doing. Don't tell us. You didn't have to say that. You could have just done it and cut to the other shit. Laundry over. I'm not even gonna show you that disaster. Oh, help me, Jesus. Let me help me, Jesus. What? Someone poop or something? I actually wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because I forgot that. I Why's your vacuum just in the middle of the floor over there? What's going on? Here's Here's a cat. So nice. Oh, your cats are so ugly. They wanted more Both of them are like, <laughs> I love cats. <laughs> Any cat that we're out here. <laughs> oh my God, this is, it's just so nice to be this type of cat because I can't breathe or sleep or anything. It's just, but look how cute I am. No, those cats are ugly and they're bred to not be able to breathe. Cat content and um, I'm here for it. I will give you all the kitty content you, you want. Okay, um, so I shared on, please make sure you're following me on Instagram, it's our dot life. Just follow us over there. Don't. Okay, so let me talk about something. I Here we go. Am Jazz hands. interested in your hair, your Botox, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your face, your lips, your hands. What do you, you're interested in lots of stuff because you pay lots of money to keep that shit sort of tight. What happens if you do it like for 15 years? Right, you start seeing some wrinkles, you start getting Botox, and then what happens 15 years later if you like can't afford it anymore, or like you discover it has major chem cause or can't, can't, or you discover it has major cancer causing agents in it and you can't use it anymore? Like, will your face do something? Will it, like ultra sag? Are they doing something detrimental for their old age? We don't even know because isn't this stuff relatively new? We don't. Is there any super elderly people? I mean, you've got elderly people who started using it and they look weird, like Madonna and stuff. But what happens if you stop? It's a good question pivoting this channel oh now i don't know if this is even going to be possible it won't you know why it won't because you suck if you're if you were going to be successful you still would be no one likes you i don't know if i can do it i don't know if the algorithm will let me if the youtube gods will let me if you guys will let me i just don't know what but i'm just not Feeling like family vlogs are, are what we're supposed to be doing. Lil Late, you started like how many years ago? It used to be. When we first started, family vlogs, that was it. Everybody wanted to be a vlogger, a family vlogger. Big bucks. And I'm gonna be really honest, I feel like now most family vloggers, and we could be included in that. So some of you are gonna be like, well, you're, you're, you're that way, yep, or just cringe. and. <laughs> she's, she's, you know what? This is good for Kendall. Maybe this whole situation with Daniel caused her to do some self reflection because she even just said the thing she should have said. Yeah, we're included. We do some cringy ass shit. You're all cringe. All of you. Yes, I'll be the first to admit we fall into that. <laughs> we have definitely fallen into that cringe category. But I just don't, when I, I don't think family vlogs are like as popular. That's true. It is definitely on the outs because it is becoming way more socially unacceptable to exploit your children for cash. Now, she's saying it in the way like, I don't get it. Nobody wants to watch anymore. But she's not going to. I hope she talks about it, but I doubt she will. The underlying cause of why nobody wants to watch it anymore is because people have woken up to the realization that these children are being exploited for money. And nobody feels comfortable or happy when they get to, when they watch that stuff. And if some of those who still do who even who watch me will still tell me like, I watch them, but I feel guilty. And that's a good response to have in your heart. It means you know what's going on, and eventually that will fade out. Also, these, a lot of these people started back when family vlogging was explosive, and now everybody's grown out of it. And this new section of young people who are getting in YouTube, they don't like this garbage. Half of them don't even want to have their own kids. So, okay. Now there's there's a group that YouTube loves, and that those group of family vloggers will always thrive, will always get good views. They can film boiling water, and they're gonna get over 100K even if She's right. <laughs> and there are so many off the top of my head I can think of. LeBrants. Their videos are shit. Ace Family. Oh my God. The amount of scams that they have done from their own fans. They still get paid bank. All of these families who make a lot of money on here, they are garbage. None of them are good. And she's right. Could literally take a dump on a camera and be like, 100K views. Oh, I love this video of you taking a dump. This is great. Thanks for showing us. Uh, you know. 50k that's would be viral on my channel but 50 yeah she's right that's just not our face it's not a poor me I don't, just, like, at all i'm st simply saying i just feel like for me i want to pivot i want to kind of change the content up because i feel like some it needs to happen something needs to happen 
you're done, lady. You're finished. Nothing you do or pivot to next is going to work unless you completely start a new channel and do something completely different or go full, you know, go full Republican and go crazy on that because that's got a big, wide growing audience over there. Um, or go to your shopping stuff seems to be working. So why don't you just pivot to your shopping stuff? Because what what's not working, I can't believe I'm about to give you advice, is that you have 1.3 million subscribers and you get 10, 15,000 views. You're done in the algorithm. You've got to start another channel, ask these people to port over there, start something completely different and grow it from there. That's the only way this is going to work. Because if you have a channel with a ton on it and you're not getting any views, you're not going to change that. It's not going to work. And I asked about Instagram and I got great, a great response from you guys on ideas. Mm -hmm. And of course there were some of you that were like, oh, I miss the family, I want the family vlog. Shut up, those people. I know, I know, but I just, I want to do more, more focus on Daniel and I and less of the kids. Maybe this whole cheating thing like made them wake up to their marriage and the sham that there was, was and family vlog and all this stuff. Maybe Daniel's like, look, I, I'm gone unless we make changes or something. Like, again, not saying what he did was right because it's not. I'm not, don't ever get that confused. He's the dickhole for doing what he did. But I feel like she might've been like, maybe he's just trying to sabotage this whole thing. And so maybe we gotta work on this. Maybe they get into therapy and they're saying, stop family vlogging, stop exploiting kids, work on yourselves. I don't know, what could you do? What could you, what do you want? What, Daniel, what's he gonna make bracelets? What are you gonna do? Not for any like reason, like, oh, kids shouldn't be on YouTube. I, I don't, I'm not like- I Obviously we know. We know you don't care about privacy concerns of your children. We know. You didn't have to say any of that. You know what, to each own. I, I don't, not, We know. That's not necessarily how I feel. Of course you don't feel that way because you support your children and have your whole channel. I feel that some influencers like abuse that and literally use Some? You mean you? Their kids, yes. You could put me in that category if you want. Okay, thank God she's admitting to it. Thank God. Do, and I'm sure some of you will, but. No, we all do, we all, we all do. There are some that do it, right? It's not so good. So I Who? Name the names. I, I just want, for no other reason, that to, to make the pivot is, I just, it's something just I just kind of want to do, and I think that we need a change. That's okay. what I'm trying to say. So what are you pivoting to? It makes any sense. Is it gonna be snail skin, or what are you doing? So, I would like to try to do more lifestyle things. Oh, lifestyle. Focus me more on Daniel and I, and home stuff, and uh, grocery hauls. I had a bunch of people say they wanted to grocery. Yeah, it's t she's right. People have been asking me to do my Canadian grocery hauls every time I do a grocery haul. Okay, and I do all the grocery hauls, because I love shopping. And it does. I get, some of my grocery haul videos have over 100,000 views on them. And I'm not a lifestyle channel. People love to watch people shop. They really, really do. It's relaxing for some. I don't know. Alicia does it because it gets her the most money. And she does it because it pisses a lot of people off and gets her views. But people actually do enjoy shopping hauls. And those are the videos that are getting the most views on our channel right now. Hauls, uh, cooking vlogs. You don't cook. A skincare thing. Taco Tuesday. Things, shopping. No. Um, you already do all that and none of it works. Like you, like she's trying to say, like I want to pivot to this. You already do. Every video is like, we're going to Target. We're going to Starbucks. We're going to sit in the parking lot. They like, do this in every video. So what do you think is going to change? But less like the cringe factor and the clickbait because we get, you know, mm. I've been saying this for a couple years. She's the queen of clickbait. Jess fam took over, but she, she is also. I'm so sick of the clickbait. I'm so sick, but you get stuck. And then you're like, oh my gosh, but I have to I have to title it this way because nobody's going to watch. She's admitting, and she did she admitted this before, but she says, I have to clickbait titles so people watch. And like some of the clickbait titles are disgusting, right? And she knows that. She did it on purpose. So don't listen to her. And, you know, at this point, we can clickbait or we don't. And we're still not like getting the views that we used to get. And I just think that's how, like, I mean, that's just the ebbs and flows of YouTube. And some channels have survived that. And I just don't think that maybe we would survive it if we. You have not survived it. Your shit's flailing. Three days ago, 15,000 views. Five days ago, 14,000 views. Pivoting now is not going to work. Again, you have to listen. And I can't believe I'm giving you advice. But if you're going to take your kids off, awesome. Pivot on a new channel. Leverage your platforms that you have right now on TikTok and Instagram and say, look, I'm starting a new channel. It's called Ken Dan whatever the hell you want to call it, Ken Dan Vlogs, stupid dumbasses, but you know what I mean? Then grow that from scratch. Leave your kids out of it. Take down the our life shit. You'll get residuals for a couple of months, then take it down, okay? 
start from scratch, it might work then. Because the algorithm hates you and it's not gonna fix it by doing other pivots. Start a new channel. Take your kids off. Keep going in the family. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Again, I don't know if I can make that switch if we're you can't. able to because I want to. You can't. Again, I just don't think family vlogging is as appealing anymore. That's true. Do you know what I'm Yes. I'm trying to say? I do. Not that I would stop giving you guys updates on the kids or you wouldn't hear them in the background or maybe see them, but I just don't. So really not changing anything. Awesome. I don't want. Mm -hmm. I, I just I just want to do different content. I just really do. Go for it. Some travel stuff, even in corporate. You have no money. Disney in there, but more from my perspective, not really kid stuff. I mean, they'll be in them. Stupid. It's just really hard to not have them in, but like that's not like the focus. If, if, if you feel me, I don't know. We'll just see. Well, your most recent 100K video is your daughter's in bikini, so maybe she had a wake up call then. I hope so. Maybe something happened in the back end that we're not seeing. Generally, she would tell us because she would clickbait it. But I think something super scary happened. That's what I think happened. Or her friends at school, the kids' friends at school are like, it's starting, to, it's starting to affect the kids really on a deeper level. And they're getting older. And hmm, interesting, right? So it's really starting to affect her children. That's what she's talking about. Let's just take it vlog by vlog. How about that? Okay, but now I've got to, what was I doing? Oh, I'm, I don't know. Packing for some shit. I'm laundering. I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, wait, I haven't even talked to them yet. So let me finish that. Then we're going to go upstairs and handle the packing. All right, so we're starting with, ba of course, guys, you know I'm going to bring my grandma hat. Oh, my grandpa hat. That's... Evie said I look like a tourist when I wore this, so I'm here for it. We're going back to the keys, so yes, this is coming. But the key's nice. I'd like to check it out. Okay, so I'm just getting bathing suits, and I cannot find the bottom. So I never get, like, matching. I always do mix and match. Why? Okay. It's silly. So I'm going to take these bottoms. They're cute. They kind of got that little ruching there. So the ruching. these right here will go with well, I can wear them with any of these tops. So this top I just got, it's so cute. Um, Santorini, and mm -hmm. it's cute. It's a little, you know, shows a little bit here. Good for mm -hmm. anniversary trip. Mm -hmm. So I got this top, this one, triangle top I got from Nordstrom. Okay. And this I got from Victoria. Is this all you're wearing? <laughs> I don't know anything. People who are watching them might know more, but like, are they working on something? I don't even know. Look, even they clickbaited, she was so scared, stranger was in her room last night. 25,000 views, nothing's working. Secret. She's clickbaiting the crap at it. My daughter was murdered in the hills. 10,000 views, no one cares anymore. And I'm just, That's why she said what she just said. I don't have my black bottoms, I cannot find them. I wore them the other day, I try to wash them, so I need to go try to find them. Okay, so no luck finding, oh, the door. No luck. <laughs> Shut up, punks. Not finding the bathing suit bottom, so I'm just gonna take another black pair, which I don't understand because I just wore them. Wow, they went, they went downsized. They really did. And I'm not making fun of them. I'm saying good for you, but like, I wonder what kind of hit their ego took. But it's okay, okay. So I'm going to kind of lay out some of the outfits. Okay. All right. Okay, so. You know. Don't care, ugly. Really Ooh, green is not your color. It's so much cheaper just to go pick it up than to have it delivered. And he's right. Probably just put that on tomorrow and wear it the whole weekend. There's a and yes, I do wear it. Moth in here. Something about living in the country, though, let me tell you this. There's a lot more bugs out here. Okay. Crickets. There are crickets. One was in our house the other day. Could not find that shit. It's like they come in and they're trying to be like, hide and seek. You can't find me, but you can hear me. And you're like, cricket. Water, and I know. R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize, Daniel, because I know you're editing this video and I'm um, ordering a coffee to be delivered. Oh, so your $9 coffee is now $35. That's, that's frugal. Um, I mean, he cheated on you, so do what the hell you want is what I'm gonna say. Like, if you're gonna be in this, order your coffees then. He deserves it. Hey, Daniel, I'm ordering coffee. You know why? And you know what? You're not going to complain. You know why? Because you cheated on me. So, starbs it is. Delivery. Um, Daniel gets upset at me because it's so much cheaper just to go pick it up than to have it. It really is. Have it delivered. And he's right. And like, it's like 50% cheaper. Rarely get coffee delivered. But I'm on a roll with packing. That's my excuse. And I don't want to have to drive to Carmela, so I'm just going to get it delivered. And it's like... Just go ahead and do it and then ask for forgiveness later. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sure it'll be fine considering he cheated on you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Love you, Daniel.
thank you. You're not going to worry about that because we're going to be... Heavy. You're not going to worry about that because you cheated on me. Okay. All right. We're good. Yeah. That's my payback. Okay. The time of our lives in the key. So, okay. Love you. Okay. So for tomorrow when we get up... um. I don't care. Uh-huh. What I'm talking about. Carmella called me. They don't have the pumpkin, so they are substituting gingerbread. You weren't supposed to know that. Busted. Why are they calling you exposing me? They know so they can get you in trouble. Oh, it's Daniel texting her. Okay, we can read it. Super. It's like three sentences. Maybe she had to stay with Daniel because he's the one who edits. <laughs> she, here's what happened. And this is joking. Put your joke glasses on. Okay? Put your joke helmet on. It's a joke. But she's like, I can't divorce him. I can't edit. <laughs> Here's your coffee on the ground full of bugs. How much was that? Why don't you order a bunch of shit then so that it's like all in one? One coffee? Probably costs $30 for a coffee. Oh my God. That better be the best coffee ever made ever. Like it better put chest hair in your ass. Thunder. It's about a storm. Oh, yeah. They're in a, oh, it's still a nice neighborhood. They're, Florida's nice. Let's surprise, surprise. See, look at that. They got a... Is that an Escalade? They got a Cadillac Escalade. That is an expensive car. It's all blacked out. Damn. It's nice, though. I would drive that. That's nice. All right. I'm taking a well-deserved Gilmore Girls break with my buddy. Who's your buddy? Tahoe. Tahoe. Okay. Whew. Done with my workout. Friends done with her... Thanks. Workout. What workout were you guys doing up there? Mm -hmm. Aren't you impressed with her workout? Yeah. She's got weights and everything. She does a good job. She's a strong uh, I know. Uh, she bought a $78 coffee. Hampton's done with his workout. We are headed Still a nice place, though. Let me get right. It's nice. Because we're going to go get gas. We're going to go to the grocery store. We're oh, so rivers. interesting. Barbecue. Let's go get gas. Early. We're getting up early. Daniel, you're a turd. No. Be ashamed of yourself, asshole. Well, you know, early ish, yeah. This guy, the audacity of this guy. And I didn't cancel <laughs> uh, snorkeling yet. I mean, oh, I still have a pool, though. I, I worry about you a little bit. I know. I mean, doesn't every house in Florida have a pool? Isn't that like a rule? I'm um, so, right now, you know how it hits you when your sinuses are all full? No. I, or something, like, I don't know what hits yeah. you, but like, my, my sinuses are bad. And I'm dizzy every time I move, like, to the left or the right, and I'm laying down. I'm like spin. It's called guilt. And I'm like, what am I gonna? What's gonna happen when I get on a boat? Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. You'll be fine. All right. Are they going so on a go cruise? The we can find something for them, like Taco Bell or something quick and easy for them. Yeah. Well, that was shitty. Anyway, there's the air life update. That was okay. <laughs> So, I mean, it all comes together. I, I did the update, obviously, because she talks about the pivoting and she doesn't want to do family vlogging anymore, but not for the reasons, like, she's guilty of being an exploiter. She's like, no one watches it anymore. I can't even clickbait. My daughter's being murdered, and people won't watch it. So she's pivoting. And again, it's not going to work because your channel is blacklisted. And why? I don't know why, because you suck, probably. I know she gave a bunch of the ma managers in the back. She used to she used to flex that she had a YouTube manager, and she's like, I'm going to talk to my YouTube manager. Like, there's, like, like they could do anything. And I think that she might have pissed off a couple YouTube managers. I'm not joking. But let me tell you what a YouTube manager does, because I have one. They just, like, get on a call with you, like, here's how you make more money. <laughs> That's it. They're not, like, here to, like, do anything for you. They can't. There's no insider, like, hey, can you? These people over here, they don't give a shit, man. They're just there to make you money because it makes them money. That's what they're for. And they're really helpful, actually. Really interesting. Anyway. There you go, there's the update in our life. I think I do want to go down the path about what happened. I might watch some videos, might snark on them, might put something together. Because now that I watch that, it's really weird. I don't think it's a hoax, a scam. That's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder if what happened to the other couple, because she was calling her out on, like, I think she put her name out there and everything. Like, she doxed her and she had her fans go after her. She's like, I have a million person TikTok account. They don't want to F with me and all this stuff. And I think it went crazy. I'd like to know what happened, interesting enough, but whatever. And then go to church, so whatever. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Take a deep breath. You are awesome. You is amazing. And you is valuable. Incredible. Don't you never forget it, okay? Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching these videos with me. We've come a long way, have we not? Have we not come a long way together? That's all because of you. Okay, watching me and my bald ass head. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing. Thanks for loving Sam like I love Sam. He's my boy. 
and I will see you when I see you.